Back now to our breaking news from last hour. Tens of thousands of supporters of Chick-fil-A coming out in force today. We got this video out of Houston, Texas about an hour ago. Look at the lines there. Customers showing up for Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day. They're pushing back after the company's CEO came under fire for his recent statements in favor of traditional marriage. Senior national correspondent John Roberts is live in Atlanta with an update. John, we're getting emails from folks all over the country talking about the lines and crowds at their local Chick-fil-A's. People have been coming out today, Megan, no question about that, particularly here in Atlanta where the company is headquartered. Hundreds of people at this Chick-fil-A behind me. In fact, at lunchtime, there were so many people here, the restaurant was jammed and the lineup for the drive through looped twice around the building and then out to the street. We talked to a lot of customers. For many of them, it was a First Amendment issue that the company's CEO, Dan Cathy, should not have been so roundly criticized as he was simply for stating his views. But some customers, like Stephen Lenahan, think that there's more at work than just First Amendment's rights of speech. Here's what he told us. I think that there's a greater issue going on in America right now. There's kind of a, a culture war going on, um, and people aren't really respecting each other and, and difference of, opi of opinion. There's no dialogue really taking place to, to get to the heart of like what we believe as a nation and what, what is truth. A lot of people that I talked to today, particularly conservative Christians, see bullying tactics at work, or particularly since the mayors of Chicago, Rahm Emanuel, Boston, Tom Menino, and Vincent Gray from Washington, D.C., came out and said Chick-fil-A is not welcome in their towns because it doesn't reflect their values. In fact, Vince Gray went so far as to attach the hashtag hate chicken to a Twitter posting. That prompted Reverend William Owens of the Coalition of African-American Pastors to liken what's going on with the criticism of Chick-fil-A to the days of segregation and racial intolerance. Here's what he said at a National Press Club press conference. It's the same thing that happened when I was marching for civil rights, when they didn't want a black to come into their restaurant, they didn't want us staying in their hotels. Now they're saying because we take a Christian position, they don't want us in their cities. Well, we won't take it. Now, these demonstrations in support of Chick-fil-A started very modestly when former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee said, well, let's have Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day on Wednesday, August the 1st. More than 500,000 people signed up for it. More than 24 groups at last count have also signed on to it, including Project 21, which is a conservative black action group. Demetrius Minor from Project 21 said this, quote, I think liberals are missing a vital point in their blind hatred of Chick-fil-A. Being against gay marriage is not being anti-gay. Critics of Chick-fil-A will have their say on Friday. That's when they plan to stage a nationwide same-sex kiss-in at Chick-fil-A's in 39 states across the country. Megan?